Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it is Planners Anonymous Day. It feels like it's been a very long time since we've unboxed one, but let's go ahead and get into Sail and Sea. All right, so before we get actually into the box, I just wanna show off the box because it's a little bit different and I'm just really excited. Uh, so it's just a slightly different shade of pink and unfortunately I don't think I have any of the old boxes around. Um, but it's just a different shade of pink and then on the back it's got the cute little planner peoples i just love that and then on the inside it does look a lot different so when you open it it's got a completely different shade of pink in here and i love it i think it looks gorgeous so sammy well done so we'll take everything out and we'll move the box away pretty box oh this took so long to get to me but it was so worth it i love this kit already you've seen my bits and pieces using the digital kits I'm just, I'm just yeah, so excited to have this. So I'm going to start off with the standard one. So this one was packed by Angela. Thank you, Angela. Open this up. Ooh. All right. So the pen. Oh, we'll start off with the pen. Oh, I love these colours. So we've got a matte red uh, barrel, barrel, char. I don't know. Uh, and then you've got blue, red, and white little gems in there it's got gold hardware it is gorgeous oh, I love those little gems just good color combo just nautical and that I know that's the whole thing here but it's just gorgeous I love it so I'll jump into the girl so ahoy there <laughs> let the wind blow your cares to an island far far away yes please uh, where troubled seas are a thing of the past and smooth seas sailing lies ahead it's time for me to pull up anchor seize the day and sail away love always Isla that's gorgeous. Uh, we wanted to do a truly amazing nautical kit for so long here at PAHQ and it was so much fun. In these times where we can get, in these times where things can get tough, we want to be part of, to keep creating products and be part of a community that keeps you inspired. Remember to look for the light and together we'll weather the storm. We hope you enjoy this kit. Don't forget to share online using the code PA show and tell for your chance to be featured on our YouTube live. Love the PA team and I just love Isla. She's gorgeous. I love her little what do you call that salute kind of thing? And a little dress, it's just so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go into the quote cards first. I'm kind of avoiding the washi tapes because they're just, I'm looking at them and I'm like, oh, I want, I want that so badly. Uh, so the quote cards we have, let your dreams sail, light your own way, you, me, and the sea, seize the day, the sea calls to me and refuse to sink. Now I think, and I haven't looked at them lately, so I don't know. I don't know if these are exactly the same as the digital quote cards. I'm assuming they are, but I just, I love the color combo here. The, the very nautical colors are here, but then you've got your very neutral colors over here as well, which is just really cool to have the kind of combination of the two. I just think that's really cool. All right, I guess we'll go with the washi. So for the first time, I think these have actually been um, individually wrapped. I don't think they've been individually wrapped before. Uh, so I'm just going to use my tweezers to help me out here because I'm not very good at opening washi. Alright, so the first thing I'm noticing is that this is a slightly skinnier washi than it used to be. And I just so happen to have the um, Northern Lights out because I've been playing with Northern Lights. So see how much skinnier that is compared to Northern Lights. In fact, it's about the same as the, the one that comes in the, the extra washi collection, which is really cool. I like that the size has changed. It's just nice every once in a while for it to just go a little bit. So we'll start off with that skinny one, if I can hold everything still. And I really like the simplicity of this. It's just the, the dark blue with the light blue and then the gold foiled um, bow in the middle. I think it's gorgeous. So pretty, so pretty, so simple. Stunning, that is just so good. And then you move on to the second one, which is the, the standard size washi. And it's got all of these gorgeous gold foil. <laughs> Sorry, Chet. Um, so you've got your nautical colors and then you've got your gold foil there with the anchor and the parts. And I just want to move this around a bit. You'll see it in the zoom, obviously, but I just want to show you how good that, that gold is. It's just gorgeous when it hits the light. And then you've got this one, which is the waves. And I think the waves are probably one of my favorite parts of this kit from what I've seen so far. So you've got the gorgeous blue waves in the different colors. And then you've got the little paper boats that have the gold foiling on them, just kind of sliding in there. And they're just, oh, so pretty. 
That's just so, so pretty. Love, 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 love the washi. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side. For anyone that's wondering, I tend to keep these bits of washi that I pull off and then I, I do the zooms afterwards. <laughs> but I don't waste it, unless I have to. I don't waste it. Uh, so this, this, the mystery item this month is this gorgeous magnetic pin. I'm just gonna try and get into the bag. Again, no fingernails. It's a gorgeous magnetic pin. What I love about the PA pins is that they're generally pretty, like the magnet on the back's pretty strong. So you can put this through the front of your planner and it'll sit and it doesn't leave any damage behind because it is flat. There's no pin pin, it's just magnetic. So it holds on like that. And then just to sort of show you, like I said, I do have my, I've been playing with my Northern Lights kit. Like just to show you, I'll just pull these out for a sec. So that's gonna sit, it could sit here the magnet sits on there and it holds it in place so that's pretty solid there like obviously I can spin it around but the magnet comes with it but that's holding through that bit of lever and then I just want to check this one as well so this is a slightly thicker bit that's holding through there as well so it's it's a really strong magnet it's pretty cool the way that that works and I absolutely love the design on this Move that back out of the way. so it's the anchor there and it just says seize the day which is just gorgeous and again with the gold kind of hardware to it very pretty so move on to we'll do the stamp set we'll do the stamp set next um, I'm really excited by the houses and again if you've seen the video I did with the downloadables you would have seen that I used the sort of bath houses in that as well but I'm really excited to play also with the um, with the lighthouse I think I can do some cool things with the lighthouse and then this bottle too again I think I can do some cool things with it so if you want to see me try something with the stamps specifically this month, please let me know. I never know what you guys want to see, so you sort of have to help me out a little bit with exactly what you want the project to be. Uh, and then we have our die cuts and our art card. So the, oh, the art card is just, I love that so much. I want to, this is one I want to frame. I'm kind of still working out where everything, I, I feel like I need an extra wall in here just for things to hang. Because this one would just be perfect just to stick in a perfectly, like a white frame and just be that. It's just gorgeous. So it just says light your own way. And I just love the colours, that gorgeous nautical theme again. And then all the die cuts. What have we got in here? Oops, I lost a seagull. So we've got a cute little seagull. We've got a life buoy. Life buoy? What do you call that? A life ring? I'm just kind of, I've been watching too many American shows apparently, I say buoy. Um, you've got your little paper boat, you've got a rope. Oh, yay, you've got some big ones of those bath boxes. You've got a message in a bottle and your little lantern. You've got a ship there with the sails. You've got the treasure map. Oh, these are gorgeous. Uh, I've got a banner. Just making sure I'm in the shot, which I'm not. Uh, we've got little Isla there and then we've got this gorgeous um, lighthouse again. I love it that one's just a little bit bigger. And I also, I noticed this before, it's, it's actually interesting that those are different. I like that. I like when we can mix and match different lighthouses. So this one's actually slightly different to the other artwork, which is really cool. And then the pocket you've got there has got the waves there with that paper boat again and just says sail away. And again, all perforated, ready to go. Love using the pockets. This is just my colour theme, I love it. All right, standard sticker kit. Standard sticker kit, we'll move into that next. So we've got four sheets, I think. Four, one, two, three, four, yep. So first one there, we've got the oars with the little crossover. We've got some rope, a shell, a couple of the bath houses, a lighthouse, and then another isla. We've got four of the gorgeous bathing suits. I had so much fun coloring them in from the digital one. Uh, we've got the seagull, got a couple of stones, and those paper boats again. Got your mixed days of the week ones with all the different colours, your weekend and then your TN foldable. And then you've got your regular ones, so your little post-it notes, your coffee cups, your lives, and then plans. Have a little sneak peek of the next one, which is Love Bug. I'm so excited for Love Bug. So, so, so excited for Love Bug. That is gonna be one cute kit. And the good thing about this one taking so long to get here, it's not too long to wait till Love Bug. Not too long to wait till Love Bug. 
Okay, now, this is the part where I always have trouble working out which one's the standard and which one's the extra. I think this one's the standard one. So we're going to start with this one. So, oh, that blue is amazing. Uh, so the first one, we've got those gorgeous uh, bath boxes again. I know these are all coloured in this way, but you can obviously, if you've got the colouring in sheet, you can colour these in different ways if you want. And I'm always really inspired by the bath boxes down at Brighton Beach here in Victoria. I love those, but they're just so pretty. I love taking photos of them and I love putting them in places. And this just reminds me really strongly of that. So just because these are blue and white and red doesn't mean they have to stay that way. You can definitely get the downloadable and colour those in. And then you've got the gorgeous blue on the back. Those gorgeous waves. Oh, just makes me want to be under the sea. And then you've got a grey on the other side, which is a really cool contrast. Like this, if that was on the back side of that one, it would be almost a waste. But because that's grey on the back, you could then back those two up with each other, which would look really cool. And then you have the gorgeous, um, oh, lighthouse. I don't know why I just went blank there. I think it was because I was looking back at this. So the, the paper has the pointed lighthouse, like in the art card but the, the die cuts are all with the round lighthouse. And like I said, I like that. I think that's cool to have the two different ones. And then you've got red on the other side, which is just a color I'm not, I, and that's why I think I'm looking forward to Love Bug a lot because it's red and I'm not a red person. So it'd be really fun to play with that. And then the, um, the vellum, this one is the, with that lighthouse. I just love that. That's just gorgeous. I just want to see what it looks like overlaid. Probably couldn't do that. That actually kind of gives a really weird kind of effect, doesn't it? That's cool though. Yeah, like a 3D effect. Well done. It just that just looks really really cool. I like that. It's kind of just offset it a little bit and it looks right. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Always is. Love the acetate, the vellum, and then the acetate has those little boats again, also scattered around here. And I like the fact that this is a bit scattered. It's not one repeating pattern. They're kind of just everywhere. But if you're not a gold person, like I can not, sometimes not be a gold person, remember you can always flip this over and have silver on the other side. So you can use it either way. So that's the standard paper kit, I think. And we'll move on to the extra paper kit. So again, we'll skip the vellum and the acetate because they are exactly the same. But if you are like me and you have issues using the vellum and the acetate because you hit paper cutters guilt, this is the way to get around it. You get two copies. So the first one you've got your anchors and your life preservers, that's what I wanted to call it. And a life preserver, I love the contrast between the blue and the yellow and the red there, that looks really cool. And then you've got a sort of brown colour on the back. You've got your red, blue and white stripes and I like the not, not symmetrical, not perfect kind of element of these, the sort of watercolourness of them which is really nice. And then a beautiful pale blue on the other side. And then the last one. I'm not going to say this is my favourite because I don't think it is, but I do love the whale. The whale is absolutely gorgeous. You've got the gorgeous blue whale there with the shells and the rope. And then you've got a plain kind of brown one again to sort of pull in with that. So I love the neutrality that you can get with this as well. That's a big word for me. I'm proud. Okay, extra sticker kit. Bonus sticker kit, extra sticker kit. Additional sticker kit. I don't know what you want to call it. Extra stickers anyway. So the first one here, we've got Isla here, we've got the rope, we've got two seagulls, the message in a bottle, um, actually we've got two ropes, sorry, um, and the life preserver, the anchor and the lighthouse. Got another girl here in her gorgeous two-piece bikini, you've got some extra bits of bikinis, a hat, a couple more life preservers and some knots. Got our planner guy here with his little sailor cap and you've got the, the boats and the, and the steering wheels, they call steering wheels? What are you call? On a, on a boat, what do you call the steering wheel? Is it a steering wheel? No, you're better than the word. Yeah, there's a word for it and I can't think of it. Someone tell me what the word is. I'm trying to remember like Pirates of the Caribbean and I can remember him going, take the wheel, but that's not what he says. Oh God, it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, we've got some more seagulls, got a message in a bottle and a boat in a bottle. And we've got two rowboats, two of the whales and then a bit of driftwood. Some more of those bath boxes and some of the lighthouses, the waves, the shells. And I like that you've got the two different sort of color families of shells. You've got the blue ones and then the white or the neutral with the red. We've got some stones. Now they could just be stones or they could be nice little places to write yourself some messages. There's things to do. 
I got your quote, so let your dreams sail, light your own way, you, me and the sea, drop your anchor, and then some more of those paper boats. Two pages of your boxes, so you've got the lighthouses and then the treasure map. I love the treasure map, that's so cute. Uh, your numbers with your little post-it notes, and then you've got your four um, days of the week ones. Love those, that's just such a good colour combo. I love the brown that's added in there. And then you've got your mini, so you've got your kit mini, so they're the ones that sort of fit in with the kit. And then you've got your more um, functional minis, I guess you'd go with, so the little ones popping out from behind and above. You've got your mini with a birthday cake, you're not feeling well, birth and not feeling well mini. Mini doing the cleaning, I love that she's doing it in her, ba in her bathers, it's just so cute. Um, and then you're little working from home, and God, don't we all need that right now. So there we go, there's Sail and Sea from Planners Anonymous. I was always going to love this kit. The blues just sing to me and you know me, I'm an ocean girl, so even more reasons for me to absolutely adore this kit. I have been stalking this, I've been watching it every step of the way. Thank you Australia Post for getting it to me, I had to wait, but it was so worth it. I am so excited to use this kit and I will be using it probably not next week, but probably the week after that. But let me know if there's a project you want to see specifically with this, because obviously I've done the cards with the digital kit, so I'm going to try and do something else. So please let me know what you'd like to see down below, or otherwise I can come up with something myself. Can't be guaranteed that's going to be any good, but I'll try. So don't forget to give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. I did get something else in this Planners Anonymous box, which you guys are going to see next week. So if you're interested in the TNs, make sure you come back next week, because I have one to show you. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic day, whatever you happen to be doing, and I'll see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.